at one of the three International Christian Aid Feeding Centers in the Haugan Refugee Camp in Somalia. And all around me is a scene of starving and malnutrition children desperately need of food. They've come across underweight, skin and bones. In one area, 12 to 14 die every day. These children are desperately thin and desperately hungry. I want you to meet this little child right here. This little baby in my arms now is a little child who has just come, who is starving to death. This little baby needs food, needs help, needs assistance. These are the children here who need your urgent assistance. International Christian Aid is urgently must fly out at least 40 tons of high protein emergency food to save the lives of these children. We're urging you back in America and Canada, please help us air freight immediately, emergency airlift of food, high protein biscuits, high protein milk to save the lives of these children. Please phone us at the telephone number shown on the screen or write us today and say that you will help send an emergency airlift of vitally needed aid and food for these children suffering such severe malnutrition here at the International Christian Aid Refugee Camp in Haugan. Well, you've seen the ICA team at work, and we've heard an urgent appeal from ICA President Joe Bass in the camp. You've seen the devastating effects of starvation and disease on the children. Their survival is precarious. On the Horn of Africa, 60% of the 1.7 million refugees in 32 refugee camps are children. That's almost 1 million homeless children. Many of them are orphans or have only their mother, who has herself no way to provide for her children. Our toll-free number is on your screen right now. Please, will you help? Make that call now. Or make a note of this address and mail your gift of $10, $20, $100, or whatever amount is in your heart tomorrow. Through International Christian Aid, you can help save these lives. Up to 120,000 new refugees, 60% of them children, arrive in Somalia each month. Most have journeyed for weeks over a hot, barren desert, sometimes attacked along the way by Soviet big jets. Many children have died along the way. The bones of fellow countrymen and children are scattered across the desert. Food and water are scarce or non-existent, and those that make it often die shortly after they arrive. These are the graves of refugee children who didn't understand their suffering who didn't understand what it means to be a refugee. Now, here they lie. No markers, no names, no flowers. Only bitter memories and undying sorrow. I'm in the uh, International Christian Aid Refugee Camp in Horsehead in Somalia, and I'm here with Dr. Robert Scott of Vancouver, Canada. And Dr. Scott has just rushed out from the uh, clinic behind us the parent in emergency. We're going to have to have this interview quickly and have him get back. Dr. Scott, what is going on back there right now? Well, Joe, what we're trying to see first are anybody critical. So we, we take a look uh, in the uh, registration desk and we try and get the kids who are really sick. We get them seen first. Uh, the child I just saw uh, is, uh, his, his weight is about 70% of what it should be. Uh, he's very dehydrated. He's had diarrhea for a week. So, number one, we've got to get him rehydrated quickly because he's about 10% dehydrated and then 15% he died. And uh, that's the most important thing right now. After that, he's got to be sent to the feeding center and, uh, you know, an intensive feeding program to be instituted. Institute. It doesn't look like there's any serious illness except for malnutrition. It's, uh, as you know, we have uh, many feeding centers here, and the population will get stabilized, and then it's okay, and the new refugees come in, and then it's a big problem. Here. You worked in Thailand and uh, with the Cambodian refugees, mm -hmm. and of course the whole world knows about Cambodian refugees, right. but Dr. Scott, how does this situation compare with what you saw in Cambodia? It's very similar. The, the same problems we saw in Thailand were seen here. Uh, certainly there's different diseases, you know, in different parts of the world, but basically the, the 
tuberculosis, the malaria, the malnutrition, where the same problems they have to deal with over there. I found. That's the same kind of Medication. Best way to help 